Well, I wanted to say I hope that the new year has begun reasonably for you wherever you are, whether you are watching this um, from a different location to Sheffield or you're in university accommodation, whether you're student, staff, alumni or friends. Um, I do hope 2022 has begun in a fashion that feels OK. I just wanted to say in this um, first Sunday of the new year message that we do have resources to help everybody reflect on their personal and spiritual development. You just need to go to deepsearch.uk, um, nothing else, just deepsearch.uk, and there are some resources to help reflect on where we are with our lives now, how we'd like them to change, what we'd like to do differently, and where we'd like to be in a few months' time. Now, the big disadvantage of using that tool at the moment is that it's hard to know what we're all doing in the middle of this changing pandemic situation. So another new year, it would be easier without the pandemic pressures to be thinking, what am I doing now? What would I like to do differently? Um, this year, though, it begins where we're all wondering, well, what's next? What's going to happen? When will the restrictions change again? So in the middle of uncertainty, I hope that we can each consider how our uncertainty reflects the way that human existence has all sorts of uncertainties attached to it as well. Our existence does depend on our interconnectedness with the whole planet, with other species, with nature and the natural world and the ecosystems of the planet. So at times we may have felt, particularly in this um, modern and postmodern world, like we could be in charge of our lives. But right now, I think we all feel a little more vulnerable. So even if you find the deepsearch.uk platform isn't quite the thing to reflect on what you want to change about your life at this point in time when things are so uncertain, I think in the uncertainty, seeking good conversation and sharing our vulnerability with each other helps us build solidarity and mutual understanding. So I do commend um, each of us to give some time to sharing with our friends, our neighbours, our family, what really matters to us and what the support is that we're seeking to have so that we can all feel a bit better than feeling stuck or isolated with our own thoughts and feelings all on our own. Do make contact with the chaplaincy in the week ahead. We'll be reopening on Tuesday the 4th of January. Bye for now.